Hey, welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials. All the info, none of the fluff, so let's get to it. Today we're gonna talk about sidechain compression. Sidechaining means using another signal to drive our compressor. So if that all sounded like mumbo jumbo to you, let's go over an example. So I got a bass synth right here. Right, it's very boring. So after a while I got a kick coming in and it sounds like this. Alright, a little more jiggle in the meters, but still kind of boring. But now what we can do is use this kick to make our bass pump. You can do this with the Reaper comp, or you can do it with any comp that has the sidechain. Basically, if you want to know if your compressor, whether it's Rhea comp or anything that you bought from your plugins, has a sidechain, you look over here. So before I put in this track, it only had two outs, and now I brought this in, and now it has two slash four in and two out. As a comparison, if I bring in CLA-2A, which doesn't have sidechaining capabilities, it's just two in, two out. So the first thing to do is make sure that the compressor you're bringing in does have the side chaining feature. So if I bring in C1 comp stereo, two slash four in, two out. All right, great. So if I click here, I'll see that I have a stereo in left and right, which come in from my synth. And then I have these two auxiliary inputs, which right now aren't getting any signal in through them. So what we can do is drag routing from here to here. And then here, I want to send the audio that's coming out to three and four. I can see that it says four in, two out. So audio comes in through left and right auxiliary signal accepts three and four which comes from one and two of this track another thing we got to do is make sure we go to this routing while we're sending audio we don't want to send any midi right so i'm going to just set the midi to none because we can also send midi from this track to this track and now every time the kick is triggered by d2 that d2 is also sent here which is not what we want we don't want to play any extra notes we want to just affect the audio signal so let's set some level for our compressor maybe set the threshold to minus 30 so normally whenever the threshold of this signal whatever audio Audio comes out of my bass synth hits minus 30 the compressor kicks in but right now whenever this audio signal exceeds that level we get compression so if I come to the beginning of the part even though our audio is going over minus 30 we are still hearing no compression and now when the kick kicks in Yeah, so that's basically how you do sidechain compression. Very easy peasy. All right, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.